In the last video, we created a basic site file, which in this video, we're going to improve upon. The first place we can make an improvement is with the amount of DSP resources our audio program consumes. Notice the DSP usage meter located under the toolkit. The current design uses 46% of the processor's available resources. I think we can improve on that. Let's take a look at the first module in our microphone signal processing chain, the 8-band parametric EQ. Notice the DSP usage shown in brackets for this module, 1.3%. If I go back to the toolkit, we'll find that under the same EQ menu where I found the mono parametric, I can also select a stereo or dual mono EQ version. I'm going to drop both the dual mono and a stereo version of the same 8-band EQ onto this design to compare. Notice that in the dual mono version, I'm provided with two mono modules both with independent audio signal flow and independent controls. The DSP usage for each mono module though is only 0.7%, approximately half the resource cost of the single mono version. I'm going to go ahead and replace all mono modules with dual mono versions where possible, which should nearly halve the DSP usage of this site file. Put another way, we can effectively nearly double the amount of audio processing possible inside each unit by using dual mono modules or stereo modules as appropriate. Now that I've freed up a bunch of processing capability, I'm going to need to make room for a whole lot more modules. What I want to do is group up all my sets of like processing into separate blocks, which Symmetrics calls super modules. I'm going to create a super module here for my microphone processing. I'll select super module library from the toolkit then drag a new super module onto the design. Because I want to include eight channels worth of microphone processing in this block, I'll make it an eight input, eight output block. Now that I have my super module, I'll cut all my microphone input processing modules and paste them into the super module. Inside the super module view, I need to wire through all the input nodes and output nodes. Once it's fully wired up, I can go back to the design view and wire the super module in place. Notice how this makes the wiring from module to module much quicker, as I can connect multiple wires to and from the super module simultaneously. Now, let's say I also want to add some input processing to my stereo sources, perhaps just simply an automatic gain control to take care of any glaring level differences between sources. I could create a new four channel super module for stereo input processing, but instead, for the example, I'm going to add extra inputs and outputs to my existing 8-channel super module. Now I can add my AGCs into the super module and wire through. Because I have a mix of microphone and stereo sources coming into and out of my super module though, it makes sense to now label my I.O. From inside the super module, if I double click the input or output, I can relabel it. I'll go ahead and relabel all the I.O. Perhaps now I'll make a super module for the mixing section of my site file, encompassing the microphone auto mixer and the matrix mixer. Plus, I'll also create one for the output processing, including the limiter, and loudspeaker manager modules. Once complete, my site file is now streamlined, having a simple and logical signal flow from inputs through to outputs. All the details of the processing are kept out of sight, until required. Once you're happy with a particular super module, it can be duplicated, 
or copied and pasted, including all the detailed settings of all modules within, just like any other module. Super modules can also be saved for use in other designs, and even password protected, if you don't want other users to have access to the DSP parameters within. Just to cap this all off, the gurus at Symmetrix have condensed their considerable audio experience into a number of pre-configured super modules that are bundled with Composer software. To access these, select Import Super Module from the Toolkit and browse to the example folder created with your Composer installation. Example super modules are grouped into categories, including input and output processing blocks, paging and room combining, as well as general utilities listed under Tools, and perhaps slightly less practical endeavours under toys. That's all for this video, 